Now we'll move on to the second category of adjustments, known as accruals. Accruals are items that are unrecorded and unpaid as of the end of the accounting period, or in the case of uh, revenue, they're unrecorded and not yet received. So an example of an unrecorded and unpaid item would be, for example, if we've received a bill from a vendor. Well, we haven't paid it yet, it's just sitting on our desk, and we haven't recorded it yet. It's not in our company's general journal. So that would be an example of an accrued expense. It's not recorded and the company has not yet paid it. But we are obligated to do so. So at the end of the accounting period, we'll want to make sure that we've recorded all of our expenses and accrued the appropriate liabilities for them. Also, we have an example of uh, accrued revenue, which are items that are unrecorded and not yet received. So let's say we've performed a service for a client, we just haven't gotten around to billing them. So if we haven't billed them, we haven't recorded it, so it's unrecorded. And if we haven't billed them, they probably have not paid us yet, so it's not yet received. So again, examples of the two accrued items are accrued expenses and accrued revenues. If a company has either one of these items, we need to record it in the general journal. And here are examples of the journal entries. For accrued expense, you would increase the appropriate expense account and increase the appropriate payable account. So an example might be if we owe some of our uh, workers um, for their time. So at the end of the accounting period, maybe it doesn't fall on a pay period, so it's not yet recorded. So we'd need to record it by saying wages expenses and increasing the offsetting uh, liability account, which would be wages payable. I just left it generic here, expense and payable, so you can fill it in for whatever particular item you have to accrue for. Then we have accrued revenues. It's an item that we have not yet received, so you'll go ahead and increase some sort of receivable. I've just left it generic here, accounts receivable. If it was interest, you would say interest receivable, taxes receivable, whatever type of revenue you were um, going to be receiving. And then you'd have to increase the offsetting revenue account. So those are examples of the journal entries that would need to be made at the end of the accounting period if a company has either accrued expenses or accrued revenue.